Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today is going to be another town update. If you recall, last episode we were working on the airport here. I've done a couple things to the control tower, made it look a little bit more busy. But mainly, I've been working on two things, and you guys have requested that I do these two things. Uh, one is, well, we'll go ahead and look at the less impressive one. That's a building down there. I'll uh, go down and explain what that building actually is here in a second. But the second thing that I worked on is what took the most time, and you can see it setting on the runway there. I'm really in love with that plane, and I'll go down there and show you guys what it is here in a second. But yeah, let's go ahead and look at the uh, building first. Now, keep in mind this is a smaller airport, so I built a terminal, and it's not very big. It doesn't need to be very big. This is a small town uh, airport. There's, It's not some big international airport, so we're not worried about that. I don't, I don't want to look at that yet. We'll go around here. I still plan on putting a fence all the way down to kind of lock this area down. You can see I've started it right there. But what we've got up here in the front is a small terminal. And I don't even know if, I guess we'll call it a terminal. Uh, I don't know what they're called on a small airport like this. I'm assuming it still uses the same name. Now as far as other buildings that I want to build, I'd like to have one more hangar. And I want like a fire and rescue building. I think that would be cool. And then some sort of fueling station for the airplane. So let's go ahead and walk into here. Now I get a little bit of a lag just in this area. But once I get out on the airstrip, it tends to clear up. So if you notice a little bit of choppiness here. Now anyways, you walk up here and you stand on these sensors. And these doors open for you. Now I probably should make those into sliding doors. But that'll do for now. But yeah, here's the main area. This would be where you check in for your flight or whatever you're doing here. I mean, it's kind of hard to make an area like this without making it too much like an international airport, but this is what this is. I'm going to add a couple of monitors back there so you can check flights. I mean, even though this is a small airport, there probably wouldn't be much in and out. But yeah, you check in here and you'll walk. Here's the security checkpoint. This is a like a metal detector right here. And then if you have any bags, say there would be security officers here, you can send the bags through the x-ray machines, they'll check your bags there. Uh, they've got these little areas that are kind of fenced off, where they can, uh, the security is only supposed to be, they can turn on the machines and set back here. I'd like to have like a private screening area somewhere, say if you are one of the lucky few that gets chosen randomly to go get screened, or say there is something, you know, wrong with you, but... I don't know, this is kind of a mix between a big airport and a small airport. I didn't really want to make it just like one room where there was, hey, you check in for your flight here, a little security check, and then you go out. So it's a pretty cool area. And then this is the final area. Now I have two monitors here. I use that glass, and then you got the glass window behind it, so you can kind of see through it, which I don't like. But those are supposed to be monitors. It's probably like showing the flights coming in and out, uh, weather conditions. And you got a little waiting area and here's the podium so if you get called up for your flight you come up to this area and then you can walk out the door here now there's another sensor you just let it open up and it's on a timer so it should actually i probably need to make that a little little longer but yeah this area here i'm not really sure how i want to do this i don't know if i want to fence this little walkway in that way you can't just freely walk around you need to go into this little area here I'm not 100 percent sure how it works on small airports i'm pretty sure anybody anybody that's gotten past like that point can go anywhere as they want. Uh, it's just the way they work. But anyways, you walk over here. Now, if you recall last episode, we had this Cessna. I actually have another version of it. I just deleted it just to kind of help the frame rate. But you've got it, and then you've got the uh, main Cessna here. I'm really happy with this plane. If you want to download it, you can uh, get it on the workshop. I know a lot of people can't run my maps, so I'm, I'll definitely put all my vehicles up there. So if you, you can at least do that. Uh, there's a vehicle from the last episode, it's a little tow vehicle. But mainly what this episode's about, and this is a little old school. I used to do nothing but just vehicles. I didn't really do many airplanes, but I had, I think, one. And it was the big jet airliner, it didn't really fly that good. And I kind of wanted to move it over to this level, but the whole fact that it used a mod part, I can't directly transfer it. And it'd take a whole lot of effort to get that thing over here. But yeah, this is our new vehicle. This is a private jet here and I am really happy with this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you a view of the outside here. The nose was a little tricky to do on this because the nose is so sharp on half of these like Lear jets and just with the parts I had. Now if I had something like the Grego mod I would use that but I, the reason I don't use it is just 
where I can get it on, up on the workshop. I used to have a lot of problems if I used mods, people would not know how to install them, and I get a lot of comments about that. Okay, as far as the outside, we'll start, you'll see a lot of thrusters on here. Now, I turned off the particles, that way you can't actually see them in action. And I do get a little lag around this, and it's just in this area. I don't know what's going on, I think it's just the whole fact that this is, this whole aircraft's in here and you've got all the other stuff, but once you get into it, it's actually really pretty good. Now you'll see these thrusters, a lot of these are just in random positions, it's just the way you have to make these things fly in Scrap Mechanic, because everything flies like a rocket. But yeah, there's the uh, spider web, pretty crazy. Go ahead and lift this up a little bit, you can get a look under it. A lot of these thrusters are to lift it. Some of these thrusters that are aimed sideways to help turn. Uh, this one in the back, actually, the back's really heavy in the way the landing gear, like the position it's in. The back's heavier than the front, so it tends to like tip over backwards, but those will actually turn on with that sensor. Uh, the steering's controlled off these two sensors here, so when you're at the wheel, or whatever you want to call it, uh, you'll turn it and that bar will go over one of those sensors and activate the uh, right thrusters. Let's see up here towards the front, you've got a couple more that are going to help turn it. A uh, couple of these thrusters that are just going up are actually just to help pitch. They won't be activated the whole time. And then you've got the side thrusters here. Uh, these help roll. Uh, this is all basically Moonbow's, like based off how he makes his planes fly. He's been in and out of my world just because his are probably the most comfortable that I've ever flown with. So let's go and get this thing on the ground. All right, here's the inside. Now, not only does the outside look good, the inside actually looks really good. At first, this was just a couple lines of seats, but I've really changed everything up. Uh, Moonbow helped me come up with some of this. We've got a private little bar area here. You've got all the seats that are aimed forward. You've got a couple private seats here. If you want tables, you can set at those. A radio, some lights in here. I just need to add a door here, but you've got a toilet, and I'm probably going to... I don't think I can put a dividing wall there. Maybe I'll just put a door in front of each of them. Normally they don't typically have two toilets. Maybe I'll get rid of one and just have it a little area. Say if you've got somebody in here serving you, they can set back here. But yeah, that's really all there is. You can see the spider web from inside. It, this was pretty crazy to do, but it's actually not that bad once you get used to it and just getting in these all these thrusters in the right position. There's actually a couple thrusters in the back. There's probably about maybe another five blocks, but I put a wall here and there's a little empty area with some thrusters in the back, so. Anyways, I think we are ready to fly here. Let's go ahead and close the door and jump into the pilot seat. Now, here's the first person view. I didn't put those glass blocks up because I didn't want to block my vision here, and I there's not, like, those pre-made glass pieces will not fit in here. They just don't look right. The way this Learjet kind of, the nose pokes out and the front bar goes out further than the side you'd almost have have like some sort of like bubble glass that would go around it and unfortunately the game does not have that so anyways here's a view of the outside now this thing's a little hard to fly around Oop, I missed a uh, missed a part on the paint I'll have to get that here in a second that always bugs me when I see that but anyways this thing's well the way the map is this thing's fairly fast so you have to constantly turn to stay away from the invisible wall but it flies really good. I love the way this thing flies. Now, one thing I'm going to let you see, when we get off the ground here, you're going to see the uh, landing gear actually folds up, and the ones that are on the wings, they'll turn, and then they'll fold up. So it's really cool looking. Anyways, I think it's ready to go here, so let's go ahead and get going. Now, the two key activates the back thrusters, so it's going to get us rolling here, and then the one key is going to activate the bottom thrusters. I'm just doing this to make it look somewhat realistic, uh, even though, you know, it still looks funny because scrap mechanics flying physics. Yeah, you do that. Three key is going to fold up the landing gear. Those doors are going to fold up. So I got all that. Now you can turn with the A and D. That kind of yaws it out a little bit, but it doesn't actually roll it. To roll it, you've got to use the, I think it's the five key here. Yeah, you've got the five key and the four key will roll it the other way. And if your nose ever gets out of control, you can always hit the, oh, wrong key. The seven key to pitch up and the six key to pitch it down. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing turned here. There's just not enough area on this map to really fly around. You almost have to constantly be turning just to get this thing to go around where you want it to. But oh, I'm hitting the wrong keys here. You still got a keyboard dance a little bit, so I took my landing gear back out. But yeah, there is a view of the town. 
absolutely glorious. It's awesome looking when you can see it from up here. There's still a lot of things that I want to add to that, so we've got a lot of work to do here. Now, I've, like I said, I've got the thrusters turned off. A lot of you guys ask me how to do that. It's just the particles. You can turn them off. That way you don't have to see them because they look really weird, especially in here because there's a lot of thrusters that are aimed sideways, so they kind of go through the wall. It always looks kind of odd, so I like this look a lot better. Yeah, we can turn around. This thing flies really good. I, I didn't want to make it too fast because, I mean, realistically it is a jet, so it could carry a lot of speed, but the whole fact that the... Uh, the map's not very big, so you don't want to reach the end and have to constantly, uh, like, dodge that invisible wall. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, this thing flies good. I'm sticking this on the workshop, so if you want to change it up, maybe paint it differently. I almost went with, like, a purely black plane and then maybe some gold stripes on the side. I thought that might be pretty cool, but Scrap Mechanic's color palette's a little limited. I really wish they'd add some sort of color wheel where you can really finely tune the way you want it to look. And I'm kind of curious, where's the skybox at? I'm still going up right now, but I want to kind of, I think the uh, wall's coming up, so let's go ahead and tilt it, and that one piece on the wing's bothering me, the whole fact that I didn't paint that. I'll get that fixed. But yeah, let's go ahead and drop some altitude here, because I'm really lost. Okay, there's the airport to the side, so we can go ahead and circle around here. I'm gonna try to land this one too. This one might be a little harder to line up with the runway. Just how far it goes back. I'm gonna have to really stay on the edge here. So I'm gonna tilt this thing. Which way do I need to go here? I'm gonna try to do a big loop here. We're actually losing the nose a little bit. So let's go ahead and go out this way and then I'm gonna turn around. Now one thing that I've talked about a little bit is the whole fact that I don't have any mountains on here. I'm, per I'm gonna assume that this is like the mayor's jet, his private jet, and I really wanted to create him some sort of big house on a mountain, but I don't have any mountains on this map, and that really sucks because I really wanted to do that, so I thought that would be really cool looking, but uh, maybe I can find a hill or something to stick him on and do that. Okay, there's the airport's way out there, so I'm gonna follow the map along here, and then I'm gonna come in and swoop in and land, or hopefully land. I'm probably not gonna land but you know we'll try it okay I'm trying to turn it here hopefully we can get this turn before we reach this invisible wall this runway I might you know actually this isn't gonna be that bad I think I can I think I can do this let's go and drop some more altitude here and pitch the nose up and oh we might have dropped too much there let's go ahead and try to get our nose up a little bit okay I've got to straighten this aircraft out and oh this isn't good kind of stalling out here there we go uh, we're veering. Yeah, this thing's this thing's gonna be a challenge to land. Let me see if I can get our nose back down. If I could just hit the runway, I'd be happy. Uh, let's see. Come on. Okay, we're starting to dip here. We are coming in completely sideways. This is not gonna be good at all. Let's go ahead and get our landing gear out. Just in case we manage to miraculously land this. And Oh, I'm gonna dip before I even get to the runway here. Look at that. No, we're going to have to come back around. Let me swing back around. Am I going to not touch the ground? Nope. And here you can see Scrap Mechanic's funny flight physics because now we're just kind of floating up like a rocket. Let me uh, swing back around and give that one more go. I'm going to try to stay even closer to the uh, edge of the map there and see if I can get this thing in the right position where we can try to land it. A little worried about those trees on the end of the runway, so let me swing around real quick. All right, we're coming in. I got a lot better this time, at least I think I do. I'm trying to just spam the one key where I can try to hover just over the ground here. But yeah, you have to pretty much stay right on the edge of the map to be able to swing in on the uh, runway here, at least in this huge plane. And this is actually isn't really that big. Somebody was saying, like, I should build, like, a 747. And I was like, that's not going to really work on this map. There's just not enough room here, so... Anyways, we're pretty lined up with the runway here. I'm going to try to spam the one key a little more and try to bring her down soft. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it just to float here for just a little bit longer, and then we'll start to carry it down. Here comes me spamming the one key. You can see the watchtower. That's really neat looking. That watchtower's got a really good view of the city and the airport, so I think we've still got plenty of area over there. And then I've got area to the side of the airport here, so we're gonna use those. And I'm a little off center. Hopefully I don't drop a wheel off into the gr or dirt. Here we go. Try to spam it a little more. Here we go, lowering. Need to go a little to the side, just over the ground. 
and boom we're touched down now I'm gonna leave the two key going I can kind of turn this and get it a little bit more in line and then I'll release the two key and that'll stop the plane so go and drive in here that was awesome there we go oh that was landing gear wrong key I meant to deactivate two thankfully that landing gear is actually strong enough to pull itself back out so there we go we're gonna roll a little bit longer those are on free bearings there on the bottom so it'll roll just until it stops now this cockpit can be a little tricky to get out of I don't have a roof hatch what you do is you just crouch down and look at one of the rear seats and you'll climb into one of those and then you'll be out so that's good to go there pop the door and we are safely on the ground it wasn't without its hiccups but I'm happy with it but anyways guys that's gonna about wrap it up for this episode like I said this will be in the workshop I'll put a link to my steam group so if you want to join that you can get right into the workshop it takes a little bit to learn how to fly this thing it uses the one through the eight key the eight key being the side door so you don't have to really worry about that the one key makes it float the two key makes it go forward and the three key uh, takes care of the landing gear and then you just kind of have to figure out what you're doing from there and you use the a and d key to somewhat steer so but anyways i hope you guys enjoy that and we will have more of this coming up now i think i'm going to do one more episode on the airport maybe we'll get in one more plane i don't think i'm going to do something big like a 747 or something because this thing took a long time and it ate up quite a bit of time that i could have been building some buildings here so i think we'll do that i might try to get that helicopter flying again so the helicopter bugs me the one that's sitting over on the helipad over there so i might try to work on that a little bit maybe we'll do another small i don't know airplane or something i'm not sure what type just comment below tell me what you want to see i know i still need to run a, a road over here and i'll get to that uh, this whole area i'm trying to walk over uh, to the other side here but yeah i need to get a road out in this area because i need a way to get from the town to the airport and then we've got a big blank area over there that we're going to use. But, but yeah, that's going to about do it for this episode today, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And if you haven't seen, I've got plenty more Scrap Mechanic coming. I've got a bunch of other games that I'm playing. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.